In this lesson, you will learn how to start a project from a template. You will then learn how to customize the template by modifying the project settings and discipline settings. Finally, you learn how to organize the project browser to make it easy to view and access your project files. Let's start a project from an existing template. Click the menu Browser and move to New and then select Project. In the New Project dialog, under Template File, click Browse. In the Choose Template dialog, open the file Default. Back in the New Project dialog, click OK. New projects inherit all the views, legends, schedules, sheets, families and groups and links from the starting template. In the project browser, under Elevations, double-click North. In the drawing area, zoom to the right side to view the level heads. Let's create another new project using the construction template. Close this file without saving it and click the menu browser and select New Project. Then click Browse and double-click the construction default template and click OK. Notice that the construction template is more complex than the default template. Close the file without saving it and let's create a new project template based on the default systems template. Click on the menu browser and select new project and then click browse. Then double click the systems default file and back in the new project dialog under create new select project template and click OK. Now let's modify some project settings. Click the manage tab and from the project settings panel click project information. In the instance properties dialog under the energy analysis parameter for energy data, click edit. In the type properties dialog for building type, select school or university. For location, click inside the value field and then select the browse button. In the Manage Place and Locations dialog, on the Place tab for City, select Manchester NH. Then click OK. And for Building Construction, click inside the Value field and click the Browse button. And in the Building Construction dialog, Review the construction materials listed and click Cancel. Then back in the Type Properties dialog for Ground Plane, select Level 1 and click OK twice. Then from the Project Settings panel, click Project Parameters. In the Project Parameters dialog, with Subdiscipline selected, click Modify. In the Parameter Properties dialog, under Group Parameter Under, select Identity Data. And for Categories, select Views. And click OK twice. Next, we'll modify mechanical settings. 
from the project settings panel click the MEP settings drop down and select mechanical settings from the left side of the mechanical settings dialog under duct settings select rectangular and on the right side for three and a half clear the used in size lists checkbox and the used in sizing checkbox and do the same for four and a half and five and a half then under duct settings select round and clear the checkboxes for three and a half four and a half five and a half ten and a half eleven and a half and twelve and a half then under pipe settings select sizes then for three quarters of an inch clear the check boxes and click OK next let's modify some electrical settings from the project settings panel click the MEP settings drop down and select electrical settings then from the left side of the electrical settings dialog click wiring and on the right side for hot wire tick mark select hook wire tick mark and click OK next let's organize the project browser click the view tab and on the windows panel select the user interface drop down and click browser organization in the browser organization dialog on the views tab click type slash discipline and click edit in the browser organization properties dialog on the folders tab for group by select sub discipline for then by select family and type for then by select associated level and click OK then back in browser organization click OK then click the menu browser and select save as template then click save and close the file as that concludes this lesson in this lesson you will link a Revit architecture project to a Revit MEP project synchronize the two models for monitoring changes and adjust the display settings of the Revit architecture project let's create a new project using the template created in the previous lesson click the menu browser and select new project and in the new project dialog click browse in the choose template dialog select the template you previously created and click open back in the new project dialog under create new make sure project is selected and click OK to link a file click the insert tab and from the link panel click link Revit in the import slash link RVT dialog click the training files shortcut and then open the Imperial folder and then open the arc struct link files folder and select the arc link model file and from positioning select auto origin to origin and click open then 
reposition the elevation cameras approximately as shown using the move command and let's enable bounding elements for spaces. Select the linked architectural model and on the modify RVT links tab from the element panel click the element properties drop down and select type properties. In the type properties dialog select room bounding and click OK. Then press Escape to deselect the linked model. Now let's add levels. In the project browser, under Mechanical HVAC Elevations, double click the view North Mech. Then zoom in to the right side of the building to view the levels. and click the Architect tab and from the Levels and Grids panel click Level. Then on the Options bar click Plan View Types and make sure that both Ceiling Plan and Floor Plan are selected and click OK. Then on the left side of the view click the level line for 03 Floor and then move the cursor to the right and click to insert a level line for Mechanical 3. Then, using the same method, add another level line for the roof. Then, from the Selection panel, click Modify. Next, let's adjust level lines. Select the level line for level 2 and then click the value and type 12 and press enter. Then clear the selection and to monitor the architecture levels click the collaborate tab and from the coordinate panel click the copy monitor drop down and click select link. Then highlight the linked model and click to select it. Then from the Tools panel, select Monitor and then click Level 1 and then 01 Entry Level. When you do, the Monitor icon displays. Repeat the previous steps for Level 2, Mechanical 3, and Mechanical 4. Then click Finish and let's disable the display of the architecture levels. Click the View tab and from the Graphics panel click Visibility Graphics and then click the Revit Links tab. Then click By Host View and on the Basics tab click Custom and then click the Annotation Categories tab and for Annotation Categories select Custom. Then clear the check mark for Levels and click OK. Then click OK to close Visibility Graphics Overrides. Then click the Menu Browser and select Save and save the project in a convenient location as that concludes this lesson. In this lesson, you will create a view template and apply it to your project template. Continue with or open the project from the previous lesson and to create a view template from the view tab on the Graphics panel, click the View Templates drop-down and select Create Template from Current View. In the New View Template dialog, for Name, type Mechanical and click OK. 
on the view templates dialog under view properties for VG overrides RVT links click edit on the Revit links tab of the visibility graphics overrides dialog for the link file under display settings click custom on the RVT link display settings dialog click the model categories tab and for model categories select custom then click show categories from all disciplines and clear the checkboxes for parking planting roads site and topography and click OK twice then click OK for view templates next let's apply a view template in the project browser right click the view North Mac and select apply view template in the apply view template dialog under view templates select mechanical and click OK then save your file and close your project as that concludes this lesson